are we back? Saints preserve us. It's time for the mystery challenger. So would you put on your blindfolds panel? Are they all in place? No. They are all in place. Okay, mystery challenger, would you enter and sign in, please? Okay, panel, one question at a time. You have three minutes to establish the identity of our mystery guest, and we'll start the questioning with Arlene Francis. Are you best known for some branch of the entertainment business? No. That's a no. Soupy? Is that because you're best known for the uh, work that you do, say, in another field, like newspaper, or like writing, or that type of thing? Yes. That's a yes, Anita. Writer. Do, uh, do you write novels? No. Jean, it's a no. Do you, <clears throat> excuse me, do you write um, uh, news releases? No. Not news releases, Arlene. Are you a columnist? No. Soupy, that was are, a no. Are you, uh, are you uh, 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 the head of a big magazine? Yes. Oh, I know who it is. Can I say it? Helen. Is it Helen Gurley Brown? It is Helen Gurley Brown. <laughs> That's very good of you all to figure that out that fast. Very, very good. Helen, welcome to What's My Line. It's so nice to be here, Larry. Thank Listen, you. tell me, as the head of a magazine like that, or that there is no magazine like that, it's the only one, if you had a goal for it, what would be the goal that you have for that magazine? She, she hadn't mentioned a magazine. You ought to... Oh, I'd just like us to go on being more and more successful. I'd like to sell more and more copies every month. That sounds a little crass. I'd just like to go on helping girls and doing what we're doing now and doing it better. You Can you do it? The magazine. You oh, Cosmopolitan. I'm sorry. I just assumed that everybody in the whole world knew what it was. May I ask? Thank how, you. How many more magazines did you sell with Burt Reynolds than you normally would have sold? Gene, we didn't sell that many more because we didn't print up that many more. I think we could have sold another million copies, but none of us really knew what we had. I thought he was adorable and it was Terrific fun. Terrific idea. Yeah. So. Uh, no telling how many we could have sold if we. Do you really gone see the, the magazine Cosmopolitan as a kind of uh, as a kind of playboy for girls? No, Larry, not really. We try to help girls solve their problems, and we admit that they really have problems, emotional problems, with men, with husbands, with lovers, with their jobs. And I don't believe Playboy admits that a, a man suffers. Playboy, I believe, is a magazine of entertainment for men, and we're a magazine to help girls get what they want out of life. That's marvelous. Now, would, would you mind if a, uh, if a child of yours was looking at a lot of girly magazines or openly pornographic publications, do you think that's good for them or nothing? It just means nothing. I don't think it would mean much until they got to a certain age, but I personally think that nudity is fine and the human body is beautiful, and I don't think nudity is anything to be uh, disturbed about. No, I wonder if Playboy... She's lucky. Yeah. She's the only seen no, good ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Playboy does assume that a man has a problem, but they limit it to just one. Well, they have a, they have a little program in the front of their book called The Playboy Advisor that advises men about etiquette and uh, how to order in restaurants and take a girl home and and yet they don't admit take that a, a man... girl home. <laughs> That's all it's about is taking a girl home. I don't what's, believe... Hmm. What's the best article that you ever had since you've been in that magazine? I think it was one that predated the women's lib movement. It was called The Locker Room Boys, and it was a delineation of how a lot of men prefer to be in the locker room with other locker room boys than to be home playing, talking, visiting with their wives or their girlfriends. That was maybe the most provocative one. I adored it. <laughs> well, women adore it all over the country, and congratulations on that achievement, and thank you for being with us oh, on What's My Line. Thank you. Well, panel, we're back. You did great today. You got two out of three, which is marvelous. Okay. We're terrific. Yeah, we Anita, Jean, you will come back tomorrow, won't you? I In spite of so. everything. <laughs> Soupy and Arlene. We're going to stay here right through the year. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, in that case, everybody else, goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow on What's My Line. What's My Line is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Miss Frances Gowns by Bonwit Teller. Chet Gould speaking. <laughs>